Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, how are you doing there? We are about to start our live session in just a moment. Let's give it just a couple more uh, minutes uh, in order to have everybody here connected. In the meantime, please feel free to send your location to us where you're joining us from and uh, we'll be able to see where you watch us from and know how many countries actually participate today in our beautiful event. Hello, I can see some questions already here. Don't worry, we will respond to them a bit later. I see that we have somebody from Austria here. Hello, hello. Uh, how are you doing there? How is it going, everyone? Are you excited about our session today? Hi, Chiara from Italy. Hello, hello, Emily. Hi. Nice to see you here. So good morning, everyone. Good afternoon and good evening, wherever you're watching us from. And welcome to another exciting live session, live session with Placement International. My name is Valeria. I'm Talent Search and Business Development Manager. And I'm thrilled to have all of you here today. We have a special guest joining us from the iconic The Betsy South Beach Hotel. And we can't wait to dive into the world of hospitality with her. Uh, while we are waiting for just one more second for more people to join, let us let us know uh, which hospitality position interests you. So further to add, let's extend a warm virtual welcome to our esteemed guest, Emily Keck, Director of Human Resources from the Betsy South Beach. Hi, Emily. Hello. Wonderful to meet everyone. Nice to see you. Um, can you please introduce yourself a bit and share a bit about your role at the, as the, at the fantastic property? Of course. Um, as you mentioned, I am the Director of Human Resources at the uh, iconic, uh, historic Betsy South Beach right on Ocean Drive. And uh, we're very thrilled that recently it was uh, Ocean Drive was named one of the most uh, famous streets in the United States. So we uh, we are also on the quieter side, and um, we really uh, it's uh, it's a private family owned property, and we are are very big on having that that home feel and. Uh, and so that's very much of uh, what the family has poured into it. It's it's basically their their love story uh, to Miami with a lot of things that resonate with them. Uh, we call pace, philanthropy, arts, culture, and education. So not only do we have our own art gallery, but there is art all throughout the property in the guest rooms. And uh, we have a library, and then there's also libraries in each individual guest room. And then we partner with different artists, writers. So we have a dedicated writer's room, which is a relationship that we build with different artists to come in and, and do some work, whether it be working on their, their latest novel or some poetry, and then they come and will hold an event and uh, maybe do a poetry reading, or it could be uh, an art exhibit a bit, uh, whatever type of art they are working on. So very big with uh, with that. And then the philanthropy, one of our owners grew up in Zimbabwe. And, uh, and so we have a very strong philanthropic organization called Zara Center. And it works on uh, giving back to, uh, to the youth and, and helping them develop their skills and um, get resources to them and, and also assist with those that are, uh, have been affected by HIV AIDS. And, um, and really getting involved in the community there as, as well as um, Miami Beach and our involvement throughout, um, throughout the community here as well. Wow, that must be a great <laughs> atmosphere that you have there. There's so many things going on, so many projects, mm -hmm. and I'm sure these people bring their unique traits and definitely get to share something with you and the J1 Kennedy's on property. 
Absolutely. We're, we're very big on uh, diversity because our guests are very diverse. And, um, and so it's really great when, when we can uh, bring in individuals like yourselves that are interested in, in an internship, whether uh, it be in our rooms division or our food and beverage division in culinary or front of the house and, um, and just really experience how we, we do things here and um, not just the United United States, but in Miami as well, because it uh, it's really become the the place to be. We've had a lot of uh, New Yorkers and and people from out west in California relocate here to Miami. So it's just it's really grown in the past few years. And uh, as far as the hospitality market is concerned, it is just booming. And uh, there's more hotels and resorts in the pipeline that continue to be opening so it helps us stay on our toes and uh, you can never really rest on your laurels and and you're always looking at how you can be one step ahead of the competition and um and so it's something that i really truly enjoy at, in in the hospitality market here as well i see a question about uh, recruiting people from africa yes uh, we actually have have three J1s from Kenya with us currently. Two are, uh, one is already actually departed, and then the other is due to depart on the 12th, and, and then uh, the third from Kenya, he's not due to depart until May. And then we have uh, a one in our rooms division, and she is from South Africa. Well, that's great to hear. I'm sure mm -hmm. you have a great variety of professionals, and the J1s, yeah. we uh, help you last year also to place a few uh, candidates from different locations. So mm -hmm. if you have mm -hmm. an interest in the Betsy South Beach, just drop us a little email and we'll help you to uh, be guided through the process and connect with Emily to have an interview. And Emily, yes. let's just re-highlight what positions are out there that you offer for your J1 candidates. So rooms division, mainly uh, a rotation throughout the front mm -hmm. office. And uh, unless you've done an internship previously, then we will look at, at creating an advanced training plan for you. And uh, we did do that at, uh, with our J1 that is uh, from South Africa. She had previously done a uh, rooms division internship already. So we made it more advanced. And then uh, we have culinary and they rotate through each different station in our culinary department. We also have a pastry department. So we like to include that as well and uh, and then any any special ask that, that they may have uh, it, it it could be you know learning sushi we have a sushi station and one thing that is quite exciting from a food and beverage standpoint is we're getting ready to open up another restaurant here in about a month so very excited about that um, and uh, we we have already uh, signed an offer with a front of house um, uh, food and beverage J1 and uh, and he'll really be uh, assisting us from all aspects of uh, going from being a banquet captain to being in the front and uh, kind of a maitre d' supervisory elevated role but uh, also wanting to get that administrative knowledge and experience so we really try to to work with our j1s and and tailor them to you anga saint regis <laughs> good to see you on the call i i remember we have a uh, when i worked at the saint regis ball harbor a very strong program with the balinese so good to see you hello hello hope you've been well and oh. Um, and then sometimes it, it could be uh, a language specific and in our rooms division that is something that uh, I have been working with Valeria about because um, as we transition not just in um, with the J1s but also just within the department um, we need more Spanish speakers <laughs> and that's one of the things that we we found out uh, just recently and uh, and so that could change as well but uh, we do try to get a diverse mix and um, as our client as our guest base is is diverse as well wow, that's amazing I feel like definitely mm -hmm. having a quick visit to the hotel to see that mm -hmm. diversity and see all the outlets that you have and the new restaurant coming 
But in the meantime, can you please share with us and with the mm -hmm. viewers considering a career in uh, at the Batsy uh, South Beach Hotel, what qualities and skills do you value the most in potential candidates? So we are absolutely looking for uh, uh, strong strong language skills. If you are multilingual, that's that's a big plus. And uh, for culinary, we we currently are. Uh, Fill those positions, but that could change. Um, and if that does change, then we will will communicate that out. But having already previous experience, and and since that culinary question did come up, I will say uh, when we were recruiting for that, one of the obstacles that came about was having knowledge of steak and seafood because that is our main restaurant. And if you haven't had any prior experience or knowledge of steaks or cuts of meat or, or fish and seafood then then that won't work for us so we are looking for for someone that does have that uh, basic experience it's a, it's a plus if if they've already or if you've already done an internship before so you know a little bit more about it um, but we are looking for a um, a higher level of um, of experience in the sense of uh, our gas space is used to a, a high level of um, they have a high level of expectations and uh, we are uh, in a prime location on ocean drive so when we get into high season which we're currently in the uh, the rates are are quite high and uh, and so i'm sure you all can imagine if not already experienced the the expectations then from the guests increase as well so um we also have the the thought uh, that we we will hire for personality and we can train the rest. So as long as you have that um, that hospitality gene, that willingness to to serve, to want to truly, genuinely provide this exceptional experience for our guests, then then that will really go a long way. And um, and whether it be recovering from a guest situation or just genuinely trying to assist the guest in, in whatever it may be, uh, but having that empathy, having that emotional intelligence to know, you know, what would I, what would I be thinking or what would my expectations be if I were spending this kind of money to have a meal in this restaurant or to, to stay here at this, it's a beautiful location and in a prime spot uh, that, you know, a lot of people want to to be at and, and stay to experience all the wonderful things that uh, South Beach and Miami has to offer. Thanks for sharing these amazing insights. I'm sure our candidates will find it useful. And as for the last question, what advice would you give to candidates applying for positions at the Batsy South Beach Hotel? Do your research. <laughs> I think uh, that's the biggest one. And that's always like the plus one when we're in an interview and the candidate says, I read your I went to your website already and I I saw this, I saw this, and they they speak to things that resonated with them about the brand because we are unique and the word different for us is something that we embrace and we celebrate because we don't want to be like every other property here in, in Miami or in South Beach, we march to the beat of our own drum, and and so we want to know what was it about the Betsy that made you interested. It, we don't want it to just be another job for you or another internship. We really want you to feel connected on an emotional uh, standpoint to to the Betsy and um, and what we have to to give to our guests because. That's truly what makes the difference and, and what sets us apart is, is the people <laughs> and what, what you all do day in and day out, bringing your individuality and uh, we're not transactional, we're not stuffy, we're not cookie cuttered. And so we're really looking for, for that, um, that excitement about who we are, do that research. And then also 
uh, be proud of your accomplishments and your experience as well. Don't be shy to kind of brag about yourself a little bit. Uh, I know there's a, a little fine line about that, but it's uh, we love to hear about what you've accomplished. And we have, uh, you know, spoken to candidates that have opened uh, restaurants or businesses in, in their home country and, and they just want to gain more experience or they've done internships someplace else and from that got a spark to learn something different or new and and that's just that's the beauty of hospitality is being able to be diverse in, in your experience and your education but truly it's that passion that drives it that sets it apart and that's really what we want is uh, are you a self-starter or do you take that initiative or are we going to have to really pull it out of you um, and sometimes that's okay but that willingness to to have it pulled out of you <laughs> is good as well the winter is, that's the advice right mm -hmm. well now let's read some questions from our viewers. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions about the Betsy Hotel, please feel free to drop them in the comments and we'll get to as many mm -hmm. as we can. And now I can see the question, how can I apply for the program? If you would like to apply for the program and specifically for the Betsy South Beach, please leave us a little email at info at placement .com and send us your CV and we'll definitely get back to you and help you out. Um, yes. Rosani is asking if you're doing any management internship. Uh, Emily, can you please respond to that question? Um, absolutely. I would say the, the best opportunity for that would be in food and beverage as we are opening new restaurants. There is a greater opportunity to get your, uh, get your involvement into more leadership positions or duties and responsibilities and um, and you know leading a whole shift managing a shift if that is something that we have have seen you are capable of doing or even you've you've done it in the past then absolutely we will we will be happy to support that um, and you know as long as we are following the guidelines and um, not doing anything wrong we we want you to absolutely get the most out of the experience and um, and that's what's to me coming from an also corporate standpoint in utilizing J1s I think we have a lot more ability to do that in this boutique environment where it is family owned and and it's like as long as it's in the same division that we signed the the agreement on we will be happy to to assist you and hey can i do a few days here or can i um learn something of this then we're we're excited and happy to to be able to accommodate that wonderful mm -hmm. um the next question i see that keeps repeating if i am already enrolled in j1 program can i extend my program if you would like mm -hmm. to extend your J1 program, we can definitely look into different opportunities for you. Just reach out to us at info at placement-in.com and we'll definitely help you with that. And as Emily mentioned, they're looking for somebody who has some experience already and they welcome the enthusiasm of uh, candidates who are already in the US. So uh, we will definitely direct your resume to Emily and she'll review it and let us know if we can schedule an interview for you. Um, Somebody is asking if uh, a candidate can apply from Indonesia. Emily. Yes. Absolutely. We actually just um, in, uh, greeted, invited, onboarded our first Indonesian J1. And um, it, was, it was quite interesting because our assistant director of front office lived in Bali. Oh. And so I didn't, I kind of surprised him because it wasn't his division. And so when I sent out the, the request, because we do two weeks of staying in the property, uh, he saw the name and he goes, oh my goodness, is he Balinese? And I said, <laughs> Yes, and he was so excited to be able to to greet him in Bahasa and give him a, a very personalized warm welcome. And, and those are just the little 
the little things that I think set us apart from some of the other properties. And um, and so he's, uh, yes, we have our, our first one from, from Bali. He's a, a culinary J1 and uh, very, very excited again to, to have a diverse, um, a diverse group of J1s. Little things that make us happy, right? Yes. So wherever you come from, whatever your background is, as long as you're enthusiastic about hospitality, we will definitely be able to uh, work together with Emily and accommodate your profile. You can apply from Australia or Finland, wherever yes. you're located. Um, a huge thank you to our wonderful guest today mm -hmm. from the Betty South Beach Hotel for joining us today and sharing valuable insights. To our audience, if you're ready to embark on an exciting uh, career in hospitality, remember that Placement International is here to connect with you incredible opportunities. And do send us your resume at info at placement-it.com. Stay mm -hmm. tuned for more live sessions mm -hmm. and don't forget to follow us for the latest updates. Thank you for being part of this in enriching. No, thank you so much. <laughs> and we look forward to seeing you again and we look forward for more interviews. And uh, dear candidates, until next time, take care and stay inspired. Yes. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you.